my dear boys and girls hope all of you are very fine today we discuss about the coordination of plants from chapter 5 coordination and secretion lesson 1 to 3 coordination in plant after completing this topic we will able to explain with example the stimulating activity of plants so boys and girls let's start first of all we have to know about coordination what is coordination what is coordination inside each plant cell and different physiological activities occur under some rules and regulation different physiological activities means different types of physical physiological activities of plant body like respiration photosynthesis water absorption these are the different physiological activities for plant so these physiological activities occur under some rules and regulation so coordination is an essential activity of the organism in absence of this coordination life of living beings will be disorganized different stages of life cycle of plant what are the different stages of life cycle of plants the different stages of life cycle of plants are for example germination uh, growth flowering fruit formation getting old dormancy etc these different stages of life cycle of plant etc they are maintained under some order the growth development of plant development of different organs that means the incident or event of the life of the plant body etc are accomplished under the influence of a special kind of biochemical substances and this all biochemical substances they produced naturally in the plant body the substances which control all the activities it is called hormone actually the meaning of hormone it is chemical messenger these chemical messenger that is the chemical components they produced naturally in the plant's body and control all the physiological activities all the event of the life of the plant's bodies event of the life of the plant bodies means the germination of plant growth of the plant flowering of the plant fruit formation of the plant etc this total event of the plant body it is controlled by some chemical components and the name of this chemical components it is the hormone look at the look at here the topic is phytohormone the word phytohormone it is derived from two word one is phyton and another is hormone the word phyton means plant another means chemical and uh, uh, hormone means chemical messenger so phyto means plant hormone means chemical messenger so the chemical messenger or the chemical component which control the different event of the stage of plant body it is called phyto hormone some phyto hormones some chemical components of plants body they are auxin zebralin cytokinin ethylene fluorescein they are the phyto hormone and these phyto hormones control the different stages of the plant body look abscisic acid and ethylene act as a growth retarding agent so the question is what is growth retarding agent actually the scientists they classified or categorized the chemical components of plant body that is the uh, phytohormone into two ways one is growth promoting agent and another is growth retarding agent growth promoting agent means uh, which uh, helps the plants in negative ways 
influence that means helps in growth and growth retarding agent that means which helps uh, the plants in negative ways that means uh, negatively for example ethylene it helps in fruit ripening it transform the green fruits into a ripened fruit so this is why ethylene it is called a negative or a growth retarding agent then look at here another phytohormone it is the fluorescein we already mentioned that fluorescein this is a phytohormone a fluorescein helps in flowering of plant fluorescein synthesized in the leaves translocated to leaf base that is the leaf stalk and it transform the buds into that means leaf buds into flower buds so it is found that fluorescein influences on the initiation of the flowers look we now we discuss about the influence of the phytohormone the phytohormone which we already mentioned auxin gibberellin cytokinin etc there are some short technique for each phytohormone here we write down as a for a a for a we are very, very familiar with this sentence a for a that means uh, a for apple a for apple like that a look at here a for auxin and this a for adventitious root that means what that means uh, we want to say auxin this phytohormone helps in initiation of adventitious root a for a that means auxin for adventitious root like that g for g gibberellin for germination gibberellin phytohormone it helps in germination of plants germination of seeds c for c cytokinin for cell division c for c c for cytokinin c for cell division cytokinin for cell division f for a flowering for flower sorry fluorescein for flowering that means fluorescein phytohormone it helps in flowering then we have to know the influence or effect of some major phytohormone in the life cycle of plant first of all auxin scientist charles darwin first discovered this hormone he observed the effect of light on plumuli membrane so our question is what is plumuli plumuli this is a part of the embryo of a plant the embryo of plant it contain two part the upper part it is called plumuli and the lower part it is called radical from plumuli after germination shoot that is the stem and leaf of the plants are developed from plumuli while the root of plant it developed from the radical so look at here when a light falls obliquely on one side the plumuli grows towards the light source by bending gradually look at the look at here when light falls obliquely on one side plumuli goes towards the light source by bending gradually that means due to effect of auxin plumuli go plumuli goes towards the light source by bending in fact the substance of the apical part of the plumuli was a growth hormone next auxin can induce adventitious root which we already mentioned that a for a that means auxin for adventitious root what is adventitious root adventitious root the root that develops from the stem or leaves of the plant it is called adventitious root another type of root here it is taproot or main root taproot or main root it developed from the radical of the plant body so if we apply the auxin during artificial reproduction of plant this auxin helps in formation of adventitious root from the stem or from the leaves so it is found that auxin plays a very significant role in stem cutting or grafting types of artificial reproduction 
the another influence of oxygen in plants body it is it, it is it helps in inhibiting the process of abscission of fruits what is abscission of fruits abscission of fruits that means uh, early fruit falling immature fruit falling oxygen helps in inhibiting that early fruit falling from the plant's body so it for this reason it is said that oxygen plays an important role in inhibiting the process of abscission of fruits look at here look at the picture this is the effect of oxygen already we mentioned that uh, look at look at this picture due to effect of oxygen the plumuli grows towards the sunlight by bending gradually and the root grows towards the soil this is the effect of oxygen in the body parts of the plant body the next phytohormone it is the gibberellin gibberellin it is uh, found in the seedling in the cotyledon of the seed or in the growing parts of the leaves due to effect of gibberellin internode of plants elongate so then now the question is what is internode at first what is node node this is a specific area a specific part of a stem from where a leaf is developed it is called node then what is internode the portion or the area between two node it is called internode so due to effects of gibberellin internode of plants elongates for this reason when applied to a dwarf plant applied to a short plant it grows in height gibberellin are known to overcome the dormancy of seed that is gibberellin helps in germination of plants look at the pictures in the first picture this is a for example this is a dwarf plant and at last this dwarf plant grows in height this dwarf plant transform into a tall plant how because of influence of gibberellin look at here look at the pictures look at here this is the portion of stem and from this portion of stem this portion of stem uh, this leaf is developed so this portion it is called node look at here this is also a portion of the stem and from this portion of the stem this leaf is developed so this is a node this is a node we already mentioned the portion of stem from where the leaf is developed it is called node so this is the node this is the another node and the portion between these two node this is called internode look at here due to effect of gibberellin this internode elongates and this is why this dwarf plant grows in height this is the effect of gibberellin and this is the another effect of gibberellin we mentioned that gibberellin helps in germination so this is the germination process of plant the next phytohormone it is the ethylin this is important uh, for us because among all the phytohormone only the ethylin it is the gaseous phytohormone so this is exceptional ethylin this gas has been found to be very significant as it is produced by almost all the fleshy fruits during the process of ripening for this reason ethylene is now regarded as a gaseous phytohormone uh, this hormone is also present in fruit flower seeds leaves and roots we already mentioned that ethylene it is a growth retarding agent or growth retarding phytohormone because it helps in ripening of the fruit a green fruit 
gradually transform into a ripened fruit due to direct effect of ethylene. This is the main influence of ethylene. Look at the picture. This is a green banana and this green banana gradually transform into a ripened banana due to the direct effect of ethylene. And this is trop tropic movement. This is the last topic of this lesson, tropic movement. Look at the picture, look at here, look at here, the leaf, stem and the flower of the sunflower plants, it grows or it moves towards the sun. The movement of any part or any organ of the plants towards a certain stimuli, it is called tropic movement. Here, the movement of stem leaf or flower towards the sun. This is a tropic movement and this tropic movement, it occurs towards the sun, sunlight, that means photo. This is the movement and this is the photo. This is why this type of movement, it is called phototropic movement. Again, the root of this plant, it goes towards the, it moves towards the soil. So, this is why the movement of root, it is called soil, geo means soil, it is called geotropic movement. So then now look at here, tropic movement. Like other living organisms, plant also have sensitivity. Due to this effect of internal and external stimuli on plant body creates sensation and consequently plant moves and grows. This type of movement is known as tropic movement. So this is all about from this lesson, my dear boys and girls, we find everybody.